Hi, Claudia here from Create with Claudia. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an 18 and a half inch flying pinwheel block. Here it is. So you can get an idea of what we're making. Nice big block. It would look really nice on its own or as part of another quilt. In fact, this is the June block for my Stars of the Prairie 2021 mystery quilt. If you want to head over to my website, or there's a link in my description of the video, uh, there's information on this block as well as everything on that uh, quilt along. If you are joining me for the mystery quilt, just stick around after I show you the tutorial for the, for the block. It just goes into a little bit more detail of what you're going to need for the June, um, the month of June. The pattern for this block is available on my website, and you can find all of the information on my Stars of the Prairie mystery quilt. It is a free mystery quilt, and you can join in at any time. There's no sign up or anything. And again, and this is the June month for that. I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. I always love new subscribers and I am on social media at Create with Claudia. So thanks so much for stopping by and enjoy the video. Alrighty, here we are. Here's the block again. This is all in purples um, and this is called the flying pinwheel. It's got a lot of movement in it. It's a lot of fun but if you look really closely it is pretty easy to make. To make. You just have a lot of half square triangles to make, but other than that, that's it. I will say this point in the center is kind of a pain. Um, so you gotta really watch, you gotta pin, um, and you wanna make sure you maintain an accurate, nice, scant quarter inch seam throughout the whole project, and that, that'll help you get that nice sharp point right there in the middle. So let's get started. I'm gonna just move this over a little bit, so we'll use that as a reference. So for this 18 and a half inch flying pinwheel block, you're gonna need the following fabrics. You're gonna need background fabric. You need a third of a yard. These are big blocks, so you need a fair amount of fabric. And these are generous. When I give you your, my background, uh, excuse me, my, my fabric needs requirements, I usually give really generous amounts because I don't know about you, but I sometimes make a lot of uh, cutting mistakes and uh, it's a pain because if I don't have enough fabric, then I'm stuck and I have to figure out something else. But anyway, for the background fabric, you need a third of a yard. For fabric A, which is going to be this sort of uh, brighter, in my case, this bright um, orange and yellow floral fabric, you need a fat quarter. And for fabric B, which is this ye yellow, which is a sort of buttery yellow, maybe a little bit darker than butter yellow, you also need a fat quarter. And then these are the pieces that we need to cut from all of that. So from the background fabric, which is this pale green, and that'll equate to this uh, cream with the purple flowers on it. From the background fabric, you need eight, uh, let's see, we'll do these first. Two squares, cut five and three quarters inches. And then eight squares, cut five inches. Okay, so two squares, cut five and three quarters, and eight squares, cut five inches. From fabric A, which is this orange, two squares cut five and three quarters inches. And from fabric B, four squares cut five and three quarters inches. That's it. It's really easy cutting, and now we're going to uh, set the whole quilt together, or excuse me, the quilt block together, and we need to make half square triangles. If you know how to make half square triangles, then you go ahead. I'll let you know how to pair them up here in a second, um, and you can go ahead and make them, but I will take you through that process as well. So to make the half square triangles, you're going to need to have all your squares that were cut five and three quarters inches, and you're going to pair them up as follows. You're going to need two pairs of the ba uh, background fabric, which is this green, with fabric B, which was this yellow, and you're going to uh, pair those up together. And then you're going to need two pairs of fabric A and fabric B. And then we're going to start making, and that's how you're going to, if, if you know how to make your half square triangles, go ahead, you're going to make half square triangles out of all of these pairs. The cutting is for making the half square triangles this method, so you might want to stick around and watch. If you know how to make it, it's basically, I'll draw them a diagonal line, sew each side, split it in half, and then press them open. If you do it a different way, you might have to have different fabric measurements, so stick around and watch me make a half square triangle. They're really easy to make. So to make your half square triangle, you're going to take your pairs, and we're just going to do this one because it's a nice big contrast. 
and you're going to need to draw a line on the back of the lighter fabric. And I'm just going to take my ruler and take a pencil. I will say I do not normally use pencil on my fabric. I used it. I use it for my videos. Unfortunately, I realized when I was editing this video that my camera must have shut off at some point. So unfortunately, what you get to see is a still photo of what I would have been showing you on my video. Basically, you're going to draw that line from corner to corner, and then you're going to take it over to your sewing machine and sew the two layers together, and you're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance down each side, as you can see in this photo. Okay, so here it is. I sewed down both sides. Now, I know you probably can't see this. I'm going to flip it over, but I sewed down each side a quarter inch on a, from that dark line that I drew, and here you can see the two seams right there. So the next thing we're going to do to make these half square triangles is we're going to take that and we're going to cut it in half on the, on the line that I drew earlier and just line that up. Always be careful with the rotary cutter. There we go. And next thing we're going to do is flip those open. We're going to press open like so and then we're going to trim them down. We need to trim them down after this. Alrighty, so here it is pressed open. Here are the two of them, they, how they look when they're pressed open. The next thing we need to do is we need to trim them all down once we're done with all of them, and we need to trim them down to five inches square. I give you a lot of wiggle room in these. I like to have that when I make my half square triangle so I can trim them down. So to trim them down, we're just going to do this one. You're going to need to have a ruler that's large enough. This one is an eight and a half inch ruler. And I like it because it has this diagonal line printed on it, and I line that up with my diagonal seam here. And the first thing I do is I just want to even off one corner and make a nice starting point. So I'm just going to line up that line with the seam, making sure I have enough room that it's bigger than five inches. And then I'm just going to trim off the one edge, or excuse me, the, the one corner. like so. And then I have a nice sharp edge, a nice sharp point to start from. Rotate it over. Find my five inch point where it matches that diagonal line. Line it up. You're going to line up three ways. You're going to line it up on the bottom. This row here where it says five inches, here five inches, and then along there. And then you know you're, you're, you're good once that's li nice and lined up. And then you're just going to trim off those edges. And there you go. There's your trimmed five inch half square triangle and it's ready to go in the block. I'm going to finish up the rest of those that I, uh, the half square triangles that I made and when we come back we are actually ready to assemble this block. Okay, so here are all my half square triangles all trimmed ready to go and then those squares that we did earlier and again these are all five inch units and now we're going to put this block together. So you're going to start with one of your background and then you're going to rotate. I need to use my diagram and you can find all of the diagram and everything on my website www.createwithclaudia.com. I also put it up on the screen for you. And it's just it's really easy to do. You just want to make sure you get all the, the, the placement right. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing that. All right, so here it is all put together. Well, it's like, excuse me, it's all laid out, ready to go. One word of advice. Well, first off, I would sew together all of these rows, this row, and then when you're done with all of the rows individually, go ahead and put those rows together. Big point here is, get it, point, that's my pun for the day. <laughs> Watch this center. You have four seams coming together, eight pieces of fabric and four seams, and that can be really tricky. I, to help me out, I press all of these to the yellow, to one side, to one fabric. That helps me with the nesting and helps make that point, that really uh, busy point there, come together nicely. Um, and I also pin, 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 pin right there. I'm not a big pinner, but in a, uh, at an intersection like that, definitely you want pins are your friend. So I'm going to come back and uh, once I'm done, and I'll show you how the block turned out. 
Alrighty, here is my finished flying pinwheel block. Like I said, you gotta really watch, and I showed you a picture of how I pin there. You gotta watch that center seam. It's off a teeny tiny bit, but it's close enough, and I will take it. Um, those really are tricky to do to get a real nice sharp point. But there you go. Uh, there it is. Stick around if you are joining in on the Stars of the Prairie 2021 Mystery Quilt, and I'll, I'll tell you what you need to do for the month of June. So if you stuck around, uh, the, the instructions are easy for June. This is for the June Stars of the Prairie Mystery Quilt. This is the flying pinwheel, and it's an 18 and a half inch block, and you only need to make one of them. So basically the directions I just showed you are for the, for the month. It's, that's nice and easy. Okay, I'm back. We're going to round out this video. I just want to show you one more time the flying pinwheel block. I really love the way this turned out again. Uh, for my mystery quilt, I've been going with a lot of yellows and oranges and, and purples and things like that to, to mimic the mimic a prairie in the summer. Um, so that's the block. It's 18 and a half inches. It's called the flying pinwheel. Let me show you again. This was the tester block I did. I'm doing all of my tester blocks in purple this year. And I will try to show you together. It's kind of hard. Maybe I'll uh, hold them up, but they fall down. I'll probably post a picture up there for you. Um, but it's just, it's a fun block to make. It is easy. It's all it is is squares and half square triangles. So even though it looks like a complicated pattern, it really isn't. I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. I always love new subscribers. Thank you so much. I am on social media at Create with Claudia. And don't forget, you can get this pattern as well as lots of other things on my website, www.createwithclaudia.com. So thanks so much for joining me today, and have a great day.